Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another serum tutorial for ADSRsounds.com. First, if you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please sign up at youtube.com forward slash ADSRtoots, that's T-U-T-S. So in today's video, we are going to be remaking this blue track here that for some reason says NI Massive, and I'm going to rename that real quick to uh, Serum. So we're going to be remaking this. And I wanted to point out that I do have a bass sound in here as well. But we are not going to be recreating that. So let's look at how I went about making a very thick super saw inside of Serum. It's actually pretty easy. Now I am going to include two wavetables that I made, really basic saw wavetables that you can download if you want to, if you want to follow along exactly how I did it in this tutorial. But you don't have to use the exact saw wave. The most important things to remember or to take to heart would be the unison settings, the effects, the envelopes, those sort of things. So I'm going to go to my user settings in my wavetables and I'm going to select Ultra Saw 1. Now this is just a really basic two frame or two cycle saw wave that I kind of roughed up around the edges. Now if you want to download the ones that I'm including and you want to find a way to load those up in Serum, what you can do is go to menu, go to your show Serum presets folder, and then drop your tables that you download into your user folder, close out of that, and they will show up where I just loaded my Ultra Saw 1. So let's listen to what we have right now. All right, so it's just a saw sound. I'm gonna load up Activate Oscillator B by uh, clicking on that little blue square there, and I'm gonna load up my Ultra Saw Wave Table 2. And it's just a little bit different. Uh, it's just one frame as opposed to two frames. It starts out with more of a ramp here, a flat ramp at the top. So it's a little, it's a little different, but not much. So now we have... Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do to get that ultra saw sound is you're going to need to add some voices of unison. Well, I'm going for an ultra or hyper saw, so I need more than seven, because seven is a super saw, so I want to go seven, and we'll do nine for this. All right, and now we need to set our detune, the amount of detune that we actually hear. I'm going to go to about 0.15 for oscillator A, which is our ultra saw one. And for the blend, and what this blend will do, this will either uh, spread out, it'll turn up the voices out left, depending on how you have it, or turn up the voices in the middle. So if you have to blend down all the way to the left, it's mainly your middle voice. And if you want more of a wider feel, you're gonna boost your blend. So I'm gonna go to around 70, I think. So it's just a little bit leaning towards the center, but the outside voices, which you can see visually, are still there and pretty loud. I'm going to turn the phase down because I want the phase to happen at the beginning. And I'm going to turn the random down just a little bit. What that random does is it's telling Serum to trigger a phase randomly in between where you see that ungrayed out or that kind of highlighted section. So the wavetable position, not super important with this because there's not a lot of information, right? There's two wavetables. So if I, if I kind of have it left or right in the middle, it's not going to really, ma really matter much. I'm going to keep it towards the middle just because I want to. All right, level and all that, I'm going to keep where it is. So there's oscillator A. Okay, let's look at my global tab real quick. Now in this unison engine, you can control the basically the parameters of your unison engine. So I'm gonna have my width all the way at 100 with this. I just wanted to make sure that it was. And with the stack, I'm gonna keep that off and keep the mode on. I'm actually might go super, I'm gonna go super for my oscillator A and oscillator B. I'm gonna keep on linear. So let's go back now to the oscillator tab and let's jack up these voices a little bit for oscillator B. So in oscillator B, we already have nine voices. I'm going to turn the detune down actually a little. I want this just a pinch under halfway at about 0.18. Okay. I want the blend to be around 75 again. Uh, the wavetail position, I'm going to keep where it is. The phase turned down all the way so it starts at this beginning part because I want it to hit that little 
square ramp I made in the wavetable, and the random I'm gonna keep up. So now we have. All right, let's activate our noise oscillator, and I'm going to select the, uh, let's see if I can remember what it is. You're gonna go to your analog. You're going to select the J106 high pass. So kind of that Roland, or that Juno 106. Have the level a little bit above halfway. This is definitely something that you can do to taste. So if we just want to listen to what that sounds like, that is the noise oscillator. It's adding some nice high frequency content to our sound. Okay, so it's sounding pretty good with just the oscillators and the noise oscillator. Now, if you really wanted to really thicken this sucker up, you could throw on your sub and load up a saw wave. I'm going to add a little bit of a low frequency to it. So I'm, I'm loading up just a, a saw and I'm turning it down to about 10% and I detune this to negative one. Speaking of detuning, let's go to the octave, uh, let's go to the octave box in oscillator two and I'm gonna pitch this up. Because with a, with a good super saw, it helps to have a blend of low frequency, mid frequency, even high frequency. So I pitched up this second oscillator. Now I'm gonna go to my fine pitch and this is gonna tune in sense and I'm gonna go to positive 13 just to get a little bit more detune feel in a different way. So this is actually detuning the tuning whereas these are voices of detuning the unison voices. All right, now moving to the right, I'm gonna select a, keep it on low 12 for the filter. And I'm gonna turn the cutoff down just a little bit right now. And see these little illuminated boxes that say A, B, N, and S? Well, these are telling what uh, oscillators are gonna be routed into the filter. So by default, it's just A. So I'm gonna turn on B because I'm using oscillator B. And I'm gonna actually want this noise to be going into the filter as well. All right, so it sounds like we just killed part of the sound, but don't worry. We are now going to modulate the filter. So I'm gonna to go to my second envelope because the first envelope in Serum is tied to your amp or your output. See if I change that, it affects the sound. So I'm gonna to go to my second envelope and I am going to create a, a shape here. Where I'm gonna turn the attack down pretty much all the way or give it maybe just about 0.5 milliseconds of attack or anywhere less than that, 0.5 to 0.1. Hold, you're gonna go to around, let's just keep the hold at zero. Decay, I'm gonna keep at about half, halfway, or it should be about 800, maybe 800-ish, 30 something milliseconds. I'm gonna turn this sustain down all the way. So it's not gonna have any effect on the sound yet until I modulate. So I'm gonna drag this crosshair and plop it on to my cutoff. <laughs> I'm gonna drag that out pretty much all the way. And I'm even gonna apply just a little bit of this onto my resonance as well. Just a little. And while we're at it, turn up your drive control to really drive this cutoff filter. So I'm gonna turn the drive up to around 30% and we'll see how that sounds. All right, I'll maybe go to about 20, 25%. I'm gonna turn the resonance down just a shade now. Okay, so let's go to our third envelope. I'm sorry, back to our first envelope, and I'm gonna change the shape of this just a little bit. So on the attack settings for envelope one, I'm gonna take this down to 0.5, so or turn it up to 0.5 for the attack, just so it's not as quick. And for the hold, you're gonna have that leave it at zero. The decay I'm going to turn down here to about 200 and let's try 250. And then the sustain, what you're going to do for that is you're going to turn it down to about negative 2.7. So not a whole lot. So just a little bit. And then finally for the release, we're going to turn the release up 
to 115 milliseconds. So it start, by default, I believe it's at 15 milliseconds. So we're going to turn this up to as close as you can get to that. All right, so that's what we have so far. So let's start to look at what we can do to get this to be bigger because I like that envelope shape. You could of course have the sustain or the decay longer if you wanted to fit how you're playing it. So let me turn down my volume in Serum. But let's actually start to modulate some more things because that's a big part of the sound design process. It's actually one of the funnest things to do in Serum. So with this second envelope, I'm going to modulate some more parameters. I am now going to go over to my detune and in oscillator A, my first oscillator, and I'm going to just add a little bit of depth to that. And I'm also going to apply this to the detune in oscillator B. So I'm going to about 19, 20, the 30. And why I'm using an envelope to do this is because this envelope has a really short sustain and short attack. So it's adding more voices of detune technically, but it's doing it in a very controlled manner that won't overtake the sound and make it too make it sound too detuned and too weird. All right, so now we have four envelope modulations on envelope two. And now I'm gonna go to my first LFO. We're gonna do something cool with this. The really cool thing about Serum is that it has, they are the makers of Exifer Records, obviously uh, the LFO tool, which you guys know I use a lot. So I'm going to load up a, they have some shapes, some size, side chain shapes in here. So I'm going to load up one of their presets and we're going to start modulating. I'm going to load up number three and I'm going to keep it on a quarter note and I'm going to modulate some different parameters here. I'm going to modulate the wavetail position of my first oscillator out a little bit. I'm going to do that to the second wavetable position as well. And I'm actually going to apply this to my cutoff. And I'm going to apply to the cutoff. You're, you're not going to want a whole lot of this. You're just wanting a little. So I'm going to maybe have the modulation depth set at about 25. OK, and then you kind of see that, um, you hear that, I don't know, that little blip at the end. Well, I'm going to smooth this out now and drag this line in and kind of drag this line out. And then turn up this smooth knob to make those transitions in between the sections of the alpha a little bit smoother. Okay, cool. So we have the bulk of the sound made. I'm not going to go do a tip and trick I showed you in last week's tutorial where you modulate a little bit of your... Sorry, let's, let's undo that. I'm going to remove that modulator. All right, I'm going to modulate the fine pitch here. And you're just going to drag this down and just leave it off. Because I'm modulating the sense, the fine pitch of the sense. And I might go up just a little bit. If you go up too much, it's too crazy. I'll go up to about five, five to seven, just to give it a little bit more detune with that second envelope. All right, let's go now to our effects slots. And the effects are going to be pretty important to the sound to make it sound really huge and big. I'm going to turn on my course. And for the rate, I'm going to have, I'm not going to select it to BPM. I'm going to be free. So I'm going to do about 0.56. Okay, so for the delay one, I'm going to leave about halfway, I think, and this delay two, keep down all the way. Now this depth, we got to turn it down because right now it's just way too much. And then the feed, I'm going to have keep it 10% and turn the LPF, the low pass filter, up all the way. All right, and I'm going to turn on some delay. And if you don't like the delay in Serum, you can use third party. But for the feedback, I'm going to have the feedback set around halfway. I'm going to have time of quarter and quarter note. Keep it on BPM select. I'm going to carve out, though, some of this frequency here so we don't have as much of the high and the low. And I'm going to select ping pong. 
Turn down the mix to your taste. Okay, so now let's load up the compressor. And inside the compressor, the threshold, I'm gonna boost a, a hair. The ratio, I'm gonna keep it three to one. The attack, I'm gonna turn down a little bit. So it's just a little bit quicker. I'm gonna turn up the gain just a pinch as well too. All right, and then let's turn on the reverb. And in this reverb, I am going to mainly just turn the mix down here. I'm gonna turn the width in a little so it's not as overtaking. And the high cut, I'm gonna keep where it is because it's a super soft sound. Turn the size maybe up just a little. Turn the pre-delay up just a pinch so it's not as quick on the attacks of the notes. And we boost the low cut just a pinch. All right, and finally, I'm gonna add some EQ here just to boost the highs of this sound because it's a little bit muffled right now. So for my frequency here, I'm gonna boost this to about 1,052, I wanna say, um, for the EQ. So for this first frequency, you go up to about 1,000. I don't wanna do the, I'm gonna change it from the curved select. I'm gonna do, select the second one here. And for the Q rating, I'm gonna select a little bit under halfway, so about 40%. And then boost your gain just a little. Now with the higher side of the frequencies, I'm gonna keep it on this first shape, the uh, this, this curve right here, and I'm gonna boost the frequency now up just a little. I'm gonna boost it to about 2000 hertz. So you can keep it pretty much where it is. The Q, you can keep where it is, and then just boost this gain just a little. So listen. Okay, so let's double back to our, our first envelope real quick, and I'm gonna see if I can get this release a little bit better. All right, and there it pretty much is. Now, you to do a couple things to make it a little bit bigger, you can, of course, do the uh, envelopes to taste or however you need them to be, but that's gonna be the bulk of the sound. Now, you can add a little bit of portamento to it and click Always. And there it is. There you have a really huge, cool super saw sound in Serum. All right, so if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't been over to ADSRsounds.com in a while, tons of new stuff is coming out every week, tutorials, sounds, whatever it may be. Check it out, really cool things. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.